The first Monday in October marks a new term for the Supreme Court, which will last until the end of June. The court begins this term with some highly contested issues, and One America's Augusta Cassida has more from Washington. The Supreme Court convened this Monday for the first session of the new term, and this year is expected to feature some blockbuster cases, seeking answers to questions regarding everything from religious freedom and abortion to the drawing of political districts. But the ongoing debate regarding same-sex marriage was at the top of the docket. The court didn't waste any time making headlines early Monday morning. Shortly after convening for their first session, the Supreme Court turned down gay marriage appeal from five states. The decision will allow for same-sex marriages in Indiana, Oklahoma, Utah, Virginia, and Wisconsin. Six other states bound by the same appellate rulings are expected to be next, effectively legalizing same-sex marriage in 30 states plus D.C. However, this does not resolve the remaining question of a nationwide ruling. The Supreme Court ended their last term divided over religious rights regarding contraception under the Affordable Care Act. And this week, the court is expected to hear a new case regarding religious freedom. Under the Religious Land Use and Institutionalized Persons Act, they will address an inmate's ability to grow a beard for his Muslim faith while serving a life sentence in Arkansas. Other big cases this fall include freedom of speech on social media media. The Supreme Court will take up a Pennsylvania man's threats of violence on Facebook and the issue of whether this can be linked to intent. Title VII of the Civil Rights Act will also be discussed after Abercrombie and Fitch refused to hire a Muslim teenager because his garb conflicted with the store's model guidelines. Other notable cases will address redistricting in Alabama, pregnancy discrimination within UPS, and affirmative action at the University of Texas. As the justices begin their fifth year together, we can expect many hot-button issues to be advertised. Augusta Cassida, One American News, Washington.